like 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 in the morning yeah, in prison yeah you, you wake up in the morning yeah and like they wake you up at like seven o'clock and uh, well maybe different jobs are different i don't know just in ISIS, they wake up at seven o'clock i used to go downstairs because i was on the second floor so ground first and second i was on second floor cell h47 so i was on the h room go downstairs to get my breakfast or whatever innit, yeah. um yeah, you get breakfast first, and I'm sure it's exercise. Yeah, go out for exercise, in it. Now, no one's doing any exercise. We're out in the exercise yard. Yeah, ISIS is quite a new. It's a new prison yeah, compared to most prisons. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're out in the exercise yard, in it. Yeah, and they got like pull up bars, dips bars, and all that shit like that. But most men are just chilling, just busting job. Literally, just he's got a bag of man just leaning up against the wall because it's a big open playground looking, yeah. We just call it an exercise yard, isn't it? Yeah, concrete floor, obviously, big massive cage fence. We're like animals in a cage. A bunch of man just lined up against the wall in their little circles, or whatever, in it. Yeah, like when you. If you I don't want to get no one used to even the idea of going to prison. Yeah, just not get it twisted now, innit? But you'll just find man that you'll just gravitate towards and click with him. Yeah. And he's be chilling with a couple of men and man that will be telling you about how much money they made on the road or this girl, this, or did you see that on TV last night? Man will just be standing around busting joke. That's it. Just chatting shit. Literally. Chatting shit. Just making the time pass. Yeah. Most of the man there will be doing minimum of two, three years or whatever. I mean, some people in there for short sentences as well. Well, again, there's a lot of guys on my wing that are in jail for murder, but they're not dangerous guys like that, man. Like they, it's mad, yeah. But they're actually cool guys, but they're in jail for murder. You know, but like you could slightly trust. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go as far as say that I could trust them, but. But I don't trust no one in it. But yeah, they're not. They to me, they didn't really seem like bad, evil people. As a lot of people, they they make the wrong mistake. Now I know deep down, if they could go back in time, they would not have done what they did. That don't make it right though. But like, if like a certain man, right? They go to jail. And they just got bare their friends in jail. Like, literally, the man them that they used to run with on the street, there's, like, three or four of them on the same wing as them, yeah? So they don't even really care what's going on on the outside. Like, or it's easier to pass the time, put it that way, yeah? It's much easier to pass the time when you've got three of your actual friends, like, man that you used to roll with on the road, yeah? You've got three of your team members on the same wing, yeah? When I was in Felton, um, I was on a wing called Quail. Now, there was another wing called Swallow that was opposite. And all them Peckham boys were on the wing, yeah? At night time, on BBC One Extra, about 10pm on a Friday night, them man there was always, they must have been kicking their doors or whatever. Isn't it? But at least banging on their doors with their fists, kicking their doors, because gigs used to come up. So, back in 2011... Around, uh, when did I go to jail? Yeah, I went to jail on the 23rd of June. So, yeah, so between like, yeah, let's say end of June, yeah, around end of June 2011, yeah, gigs used to always come on one extra on a Friday night, yeah, for some reason, yeah, BBC One Extra on the radio. And the Peckham boys that was on Swallow, they used to go fucking mad, just bam, 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 because they just, yeah, they just love gigs. See, every jail is different. Yeah, obviously, I've only been to Feltham and um, ISIS in it. Yeah. Feltham, I can't really, I don't, I'm not too sure, man. I'd say like 50 man. 50 man. Now, in, um, now, obviously, in Feltham, obviously, you have a lot of men in cells that are doubled up. So I was in a cell with someone. That one you called John from um, Woolwich. Cool brother. He even wrote to me out, um, after, like, so when I came out, he even wrote to me. He wrote to me when 
I was out on the road and he was still in prison. And then when he came out after a year, because he was selling drugs, um, he got caught with some white and brown and that, so hard food. After he came out, then he called me or whatever, innit? Yeah. Now, John, like, this is what I mean. Like, <sighs> prison's full of people who commit crimes, but sometimes it's well, <sighs> the people in there, they're actually nice guys, which is, it, it's hard to explain, man. They're actually cool people, yeah, but they're just on the wrong path, yeah. So, my cellmate, John, he was so cool, man. He's from Woolwich or whatever. He's a gang member as well, innit? Yeah, but he was a cool you, innit? So yeah, he wrote to me whilst he was still in jail and I was out. And then he called me when he came out of jail as well after doing a year out of his two year sentence because obviously you do half a year. So a lot of the man them in jail, they're padded up with people, isn't it? Yeah, so I was in a cell with him, whatever. Cool. So I'd say on the wing, maybe about 50 men in it. Yeah, I can't really remember in it, but we're not all allowed out at the same time as well, innit? So we have association. Yeah. So we was having Solsh. They weren't gonna have all fifty man out. It, not not in film. I can't. I don't think they had all fifty man out for association at the same time. Similarly with ISIS as well. I don't think they had everyone out of their cell for association at the same time. Maybe I can't really remember though, in it. But in on my wing, hatred in ISIS. I, I'm assuming because I was H forty seven. So I'm assuming that there was fifty cells. And mine was the third from last because I was H47. I'd say there's about 50 cells. Yeah. So again, there's 50 cells. A few men are padded up. So I'd say there's probably about 70 men on the wing. It could have been less. It could it could have been maybe maybe 60 or 55. I don't know. But yeah, they say uh, flinging the average number of 50 men on the wing or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. You got certain man. You got certain man they hang around with big cliques. So on my way, there was a lot of hackney boys. They used to hang around with each other. Then you got some man who just couple men. So me and one next guy used to hang around like who was my neighbour. He's still in jail now. Imagine that. Imagine this, yeah. I've spoken about him before. Another woolly dude as well. Cool brother as well. But again, he's just done the wrong thing. Yeah. Some Somali from Woolwich, obviously, anyone from South London, they will know that Woolwich has bare Somalians or whatever, really, yeah. Him and his people have stabbed someone and killed someone or whatever, really. And now the thing is, right, this thing called joint enterprise is serious. He probably didn't even stab the you. Yeah, he maybe did, yeah, but he probably didn't even stab the you. Yeah, but he was just there, innit? Yeah. Alright, yeah, good night, no idea, innit? Yeah. He probably didn't even stab you. He was just there, in it. Yeah, but he's there, so he's he's going down for the murder as well. Yeah, he hadn't even been given a release date. Yeah, he just knew his release year because they gave him like nineteen or twenty years. Let's just call it twenty years. So back in twenty eleven, he's got twenty years. Yeah. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. Good night. No idea. Back in 2011, he's been given 20 years. So he's saying to me, like, blood, I haven't even been given a release date yet. I just know my release year, 2030, Bamba Clark 1. That's when a man's coming out, you know. Bro, we're in 2020. 2011 seemed like, a, that was almost a decade ago. Seemed like a lifetime ago. Yeah, although it's gone quick, yeah, but when you look at the numbers, you're like, Bamba Clark, nine, 10 years has gone past. Yeah, and that you is still in jail now. You know, he said to me, I'm gonna get my mum to send in my bed sheets so I can get settled in. Blood, I ain't getting settled into shit. Imagine how sad that is, isn't it? Now, what's really sad is that him and his friends have taken someone's life. Yeah, let's not get confused now, innit? Yeah, whose side we're on, innit? Yeah, but it's sad that a man is gonna be spending the rest of his life. In jail, he's gonna grow up in jail basically. Because yeah, when you're 18, you're still a kid. Yeah. The age is where you should be learning stuff when you're 18 to 30. He's not learning nothing. Yeah, he's only learning the jail shit, which is nothing. Yeah. You, you can't learn off of no one in jail. There's certain man in jail, a bare man in jail, they don't even know how to read and write, for real. 
Yeah, there's man in Joe that don't know how to read and write, yeah, for real, yeah. So he's gonna basically grow up in Joe, yeah. Spending 20 years of his life in Joe. He's been in Joe for nine years. He's still in jail now. Now he's probably not in ISIS, because say certain man move around, he might have wanna get moved around, I don't know. Yeah. He's a lifer in it, so maybe they might move into a different prison or something like that. I don't know. But he's still in jail now, unless he's escaped, which is highly unlikely. So imagine a man that I met before in the system, he's still in jail now. Still in jail now. Wasting his life away. 